Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 13 of this SL house. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to uh, start modeling this by adding an extrusions. As you can see, we ha have the front almost finish up. And then we're going to do it on the other side right here as well. So for now, um, I want to change the materials right here, front and on the side. So to do that, I will need to use split face and then select this face. And then from there, as you can see, there's a yellow um, on the border. Those, uh, those things, you cannot actually add a line. You only put a line where you will connect the yellow to the yellow meaning this side now is all in one um, <coughs> material so that is done I'm happy with this now we'll be able to select the other parts and this is this wall same thing here you could use actually pick line this line and then you need to move this one back a bit and then pick this line up and then now we need to just pull this one right about this yellow line right here so that's good and then we need to fix this one as well so select this one so every face you need to do this pick this and then click finish and then lastly on this side as well actually here we need to as well but because this is the part right here that will be good enough um, we could just click that with a paint and then let's check this one side I think that's good enough as well so here on this side you just need to pick path right here right there and then now we could just pull this one back and then here so now click on finish on that and then now let's add in the material by using paint <coughs> we need to differentiate this so I'm gonna use this as you can see this one is still um, not showing that we did it correctly so I'm going to click on split face again it's because we put it on the wrong side so that's why I'm um, just need to add it right here actually not around here so that's that was my mistake and then but <coughs> we just need to click on paint again and then add the brick finish so now this is fixed the way we want it to get that and then that oh, not that one this side only and right there so now everything looks much better because of that Let's escape and then now what we could do is we want let's fix this part I want the same look as the one at the right here <coughs> so what I'm gonna do is model in place generic model and let's just quickly add this 
let's do sweep pick path and then let's add it on to here and then trim and extend trim and extend right there every corner should be trim and extend to make sure that everything is connecting so now click finish edit profile and let's just add same thing right here we do maybe 200 and then 100 right here <coughs> and then click finish and then finish again we have that look I'm gonna push this back later on and then here we could just add in the same one I want to be consistent with the materials as well so click on finish and then go to level 2 to fix that one part right there that is for sure so we could just finish or cl clean this up I'm probably going to extend it downwards because of the viewport or view range and then let's just pull this one right there again and then go back to 3d now that we fix it we could just have the same height again right there so basically just changing that up a little bit <coughs> and then here at the same time let's go to level 2 I'm probably going to push this one a little bit here to have some gap um, here edit this path delete this one and then we're probably going to edit this again to make it right about there and then here CS on that generic model <coughs> and we're going to add the same extrusion set on this one pick a plane so you could basically create something similar we're just gonna set this one again just to make sure that I did it correctly we're gonna do the same one but in 3d you can basically do that by using pick line <coughs> same thing that we'd use there and then pick line again 200 offset if you make a mistake you can just delete that later on so here we did that so trim and extend now and then here just to cap it off and then click on finish and let's just extend this one a bit like that we could just extend this all the way right here just for that and then at the same time click on finish edit this edit that and then we want it to be touching those extrusion we want to double check if everything is aligned that's done so I'm happy with that <coughs> not sure if we're gonna add this one anymore 
I think we're probably good or we could just select this one same materials again but if we do that this will be bothersome for me because it's gonna overlap this one and it doesn't look good but that's uh, here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this materials right here only on this spot is this is something that is <coughs> changeable it's easy to change because it's all we don't need to do the other steps that we do because this is just the face on that so I'm happy at least that material we could maybe add it in the same materials right here that's to just to change it up and then for this material I just forgot how what material is this though but here under paint <coughs> Maybe I'm just gonna use damp proofing to just change that. Here under railing, we want to make sure that we have materials set up already there. And then here we need to add metal material. So you could choose one of those and then just click apply and then OK. We want to make sure that those materials are set up and not on default. And then here I'm planning to just add the same material CF so that everything is looking the same way. there we go and then now I want all of this to be changed in a different material <coughs> so here this is looking good and then now change the materials for the outside on all of them uh, if we have metal metal paneling that would be perfect so here I'm just going to look for something different I'm just gonna use copper just to make sure that everything is changed accordingly and you want to make sure that you just put it to the ones that we didn't do so that's done <coughs> and then all this face should be changed as well and then just double check that we didn't miss anything like this one So here I'm happy with what we have accomplished. I think that's good enough. Um, what we need to do now is to tag everything. So here, tag each room. So here I'm going to put garage, powder room. We need to um, create some separate uh, separation there so we need room separator we could attach it right here 
usually from the wall so I think we need to extend this one from the wall and then another room separator for here and then room separator for this stairs <coughs> and then here entrance and then just click on those and then now we'll be able to separate each and every one of them and then let's add this one you can put this one as backyard. Make sure it's all capital. Kitchen. We have our family room here. Garage. Entrance. Our entry. <coughs> other room and we have stair and then we have um, <coughs> living and then dining and three and then laundry right here so that's good let's go to level two and then let's add each of the rooms right here by starting here we have corridor right here and then now we could just put masters we have an end suite one we have bedroom one let's copy and go bedroom 2 and bedroom 3 and then here we could just on suite and then make it 2 and then we have our washroom here <coughs> And then our corridor. So once we begin adding our sheets, this one, once we change uh, our scale, this will be um, basically become smaller. It will scale itself. So I just need to change all of this. I wasn't aware that I was putting in the wrong spelling for those <coughs> and then we want to make sure to double check everything we have a uh, different materials there here I'm gonna set up the um, same materials right there as well so in the next video um, we're basically going to finish this off uh, we're gonna add in some curb appeal here some sides and then some roads and then we're gonna finish it off by adding it to sheets I'm gonna show you how to show show it in sheets so thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below